Okay, I haven't done a screencast tutorial in a while, but I've had some people that have asked, asked me about uh, Gmail and how I use Gmail to manage multiple email addresses. Um, I use one inbox and all of my various emails come and go out of that same inbox. And when somebody writes me at craig at frederick.com and I write them, I hit reply, my reply to address is automatically craig at frederick.com, not my Gmail address. And the, they wonder how I do that. And so it's actually rather simple to set up, um, but you do need to know a few steps that you need to do. So I'm going to do it right now. So um, the first step is you go into your settings, and some of this may have may have changed. So um, I'm going to do it as live here and see. Okay, so notice we have accounts right here. I'm going to click on that. And yeah, I am in the right section. So you can see a whole bunch of email addresses listed here that are my email addresses. And it says send mail as. And then I have a whole bunch of email addresses that I can send mail as. And then I have a default email address. My default email address is cs at areaguides.com. You can make any of these your default. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a new address. So I'm going to click on add another email address you own. Okay, I'm going to click on that. And the email address I'm going to put is Craig at Hooping Live. Just set this one up, HoopingLive.com. And then I am going to say next step. Then I'm going to say send through email, th send through Gmail, which is what I want. And I'm going to say next step. You might not be seeing this. Well, I guess you're seeing this pop-up window in the in the recording. I hope you are. Okay, now I'm at a window that says send verification. And what it's going to do is it's going to send an email to Craig at HoopingLive.com, which I'm going to have to confirm that I have that email address. This is how they confirm that it's my email address and I'm not adding somebody else's. So I'm going to say send verification. Okay, now uh, in my inbox, I should have an email with a verification code, and it will also there will also be a link in the email for me to click on to verify as well. So let me check that. Go to my inbox. Here it is. Uh, Gmail confirmation. Send mail as Craig at Hooping Live. So I'm going to click on that email, and I'm going to click on this long link here. It says to confirm. Click on that. So I'm clicking on it. So it says, the Gmail user may now send mail as Craig at HoopingLive.com. Click here to return to your Gmail account. So now there's one last step that you need to do if you haven't already set this up. And that's go back into your settings. <clears throat> this is an important step. Go back to accounts. Go down here to the bottom underneath the addresses that you have. You, you might just have a couple of them. I've got a whole bunch. <clears throat> but if you go down to the bottom, it says, when replying to a message, then I've got the radio button check that says, reply from the same address the message was sent to. Okay, this is what makes it really cool. So that when you get a message sent to one of your email addresses, you just hit reply, it automatically puts the right reply to address as the same one that they wrote to, not your default. Okay, so let me show you how this works in action. So I'm going to go back to my inbox, and I'm going to compose an email. Now, you'll notice that the default email, the from, is craigshipcs at airguides.com. That's the default. If I pull down this little arrow, I can switch that to any of the other email addresses that I have approved in my account. So if I want to send it as Craig at Hooping Live, I just click on that, and then I put in the subject, test and I put the recipients I can put whatever recipients I want in this point I'm gonna put myself um, see if this works I'm gonna say send <clears throat> okay I'm gonna refresh my inbox and here's a test email and that test email is from Craig Ship, Craig at HoopingLive.com to, of course, myself. Now, if I hit reply here, 
okay um, I'm replying to Craig Craig at Frederick.com who was the one that wrote to me correct okay now um, this email address when he receives it it will be oh since well now I'm confused but anyway trust me it works <laughs> um, it's saying from Craig at Frederick.com because I guess that's because I wrote it to Craig at Frederick.com and it's me and anyway um, in real world uh, testing it does work they will see the same email address when you reply to them you can write to them in the same e uh, inbox under whatever addresses you have approved in this inbox so you can basically manage all of your email in this one inbox and you can do this with any kind of email address as long as email forwarding is available because the other thing that you have to do to make this all work seamlessly is I've got Craig at hoopinglive.com pointed to my Gmail account this my main Gmail account here so that if somebody writes to Craig at hoopinglive.com it comes right into this Gmail inbox and then if I reply to it the reply to address they see is Craig at hoopinglive.com because that's the address they wrote to they don't know that Craig at hoopinglive.com is forwarded into this inbox as far as they know they're just writing to Craig at hoopinglive.com so I hope this makes sense to you um, trust me it's the way to go it's the way to manage multiple email addresses um, without having to log in and log out of various email accounts um, it just makes your life a whole lot easier and you can set up filters so that if somebody writes to a certain address like if they write to me at Craig at hoopinglive.com I can set up a filter in Gmail that automatically assigns a tag to it hooping for example could be the tag I can have it automatically go into a particular folder um, uh, which really is tags as far as Gmail goes I can have it automatically go be archived uh, if it's an address that I get too many email uh, emails from and I don't want it to come into my regular inbox so you've got total control in Gmail how you treat emails that are coming in to various email addresses so um, that's it that's my screencast um, add your email addresses to your main Gmail account and uh, have fun with it craigship.com Check out my website. Thanks.